Hi guys, here's question six with the standard normal distribution. What is the probability that a randomly selected z value is between z equals negative one and z equals positive 1.96? Now first of all, notice that I asked this question in a new way. If you've done questions one through six, one through five, I always use the words percentage and proportion. Here, I wanted to use the word probability because these concepts are equivalent if worded like this. So basically, if the area in a certain region of the curve is equal to, say, 50%, that is an, an, there's another way to say that the probability that you select, randomly select a value from that same region is equal to 50%. Okay? So I'll talk about this when we get the final answer for this question. But this, the way I've phrased this question is equivalent to the questions one through five. Okay, so once again, what is the probability that a randomly, that a randomly selected z value is between z equals negative one and z equals 1.96? So let's draw our z distribution. Center is zero. Here is negative one. Here somewhere is 1.96. Let's shade the region that we're interested in with green. And if you don't mind, actually, let me at this point shade it in two colors. Let me shade this part in green, this part in purple. So what we want is this green and purple together, right? So if you saw the previous video, we have to get two separate things. One is this, the other is this, and then add the two. So we look up 1.96. Here's 1.9. Sorry. And here's 06, and it turns out to be 47.5%. Okay. So 0.475 is the purple region. Now let's go look up z equals negative 1. Here's, we know we don't have negative z values, but we know that whatever happens on the right happens on the left of the mean. So we look up z equals 1, and we get 34.13% is on the, it's in this region, so 0.3413. And if we have the two regions, we can simply add them. So we do 0.3413, sorry, plus, because it's simple geometry at this point, you want this total area, okay? We'll get 81.63%, and let's just check that quickly. 0.3413 plus 0.475, 81.63%, perfect. That is our final answer. Now, let's just, let me just emphasize what we did we got this total area okay the two colors were just so you see that we had to do it in two steps and then add the two areas together but really what we got was one area okay so this is what we got this whole thing is equal to 81.63 now <clears throat> now let's go back to the question I want to talk a little bit about the phrasing what is the probability that a randomly selected z value is between these two numbers? Okay? These two z scores. If if I were to rephrase this question the way we did questions 1 through 5, I would say what percentage of the data is between z equals -1 and z equals 1.96? And you would do the same exact thing and you would get the same exact answer. 81.63% of the data is between 
z equals negative 1 and z equals 1.96. Well, guess what? If you're telling me that 81.63% of the data is between z equals negative 1 and z equals 1.96, that means that if I were to close my eyes and grab, randomly select one of these z values from, let's say, a hat, that the chances that I would get a z value between z equals negative 1 and 1.96, the probability that I would get a z value between negative 1 and 1.96 is equal to the num the it is equal to the proportion or percentage of data in that hat that falls between negative 1 and 1.96. If about 80% of the values in the hat are between negative 1 and 1.96, the chances that I select one between negative 1 and 1.96 is also 80%. In this case, 81.63 to be exact. Okay? So these concepts are exactly the same, just worded differently. And I think there's an intuitive sense to them that you can make. Okay? So I wanted to rephrase them in a few ways. So you saw questions. Um, in the different ways they could be asked. Okay, so at this point, uh, we're going to go on and continue getting more and more complicated. So this is question six, so expect many to come. All right, be sure to subscribe, and if this was a little over your head, go back, do one, two, three, four, five, watch the video on the, the anatomy of a normal distribution, and also on the table, because I just flashed this table now at this point because I've talked about it so much, okay? We talked about this table quite a bit. So be sure to go back and see this video if uh, this was a little new to you. All right, so till next time, be sure to subscribe and have a great day.